Fam Fam, welcome back besties. If you are new, please consider subscribing and welcome. Homemade crochet hair. All right, so I installed this here recently and I did not like the looped part of the hair. It was just too stiff and hard to install. Okay, so she likes to have her hair braided back. So what I'm doing, I like to add some moisture because we know this 4C hair, yeah, it needs the moisture. It craves the moisture. So I'm starting with braids going backward. And then I'm going to do a little pattern. I like to try different things just to see what works. And so we're trying a different pattern today. And I'm going to show it to you guys. And then we're just going to install. It's simple crochet. We're going to install. So stick around and watch the video to the end. If you are new, consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. If you are watching this video, it means that you are actually getting something from the video. Leave a comment down below to support the channel and subscribe. So this is the pattern that we end up with. I am tucking away the ends in between some of the other braids that we already have. All right, so the hair in itself was very pretty when it was done, but like the whole process to get the hair, the length of the hair through the looped area was a struggle like my fingers literally burned when i was done look at that struggle like it's just too tight it is not supposed to be that tight but we made it happen and we're just going to show you guys how we did it on a regular but this hair in particular i'm going to try to find it and link it in the description i don't know it was very difficult to handle so even to get it through the braid right there, I, it was a struggle. And I tried not to pull it all the way through because I know there will be too much tension on the scalp. So this hair, pretty, but I just don't recommend the hair itself unless they adjust the loop area of the hair. All right, so the install is, you know, similar to your regular crochet braid. I like to go under because i have not the bump on the top to contend with so when i push my crochet needle this way i the hair lays flatter than if i were to go the opposite direction All right, so at this point, I am looking, you know, for spaces to fill in. I don't like to have the hair too bulky. It needs to look as natural as possible, if that's at all possible. But to have just this big bulk of hair on your head, I don't like when it's too bulky. And so if you're not careful, crochet can lend itself to being too bulky on your head. So at this point, I'm just looking for spaces to fill in and then we can just call it a video. If you've gotten this far into the video, just double check to make sure that you gave us the up thumb because it's a great way to support the channel if you're actually getting something from it. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe.